Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Swoon Sisters live show for March. We read Love in the Wild. This cover is so beautiful. I love this cover. I love it so much. Oh, wait. I didn't even change. Oh, no. Oh, no. It is oh, your color. This is not even the color of our new branding, I don't think. No, I don't think so. But that's okay. We have this book. This is a Tarzan retelling. Yes. Romance. Um, yeah. I Nicole. just love. What? Sorry. I was like, I just love this because um, the model on the cover is really reminding me of Alexander Skarsgård. And it's making me want to watch his movie with. He did a Tarzan remake. Did he? Of, yeah. And it was really good. I really loved it. So, um, but yeah. <clears throat> oh, I was going to say that me and you are kind of dead today. Yeah, we're a little. Because I have an ear infection and Nicole is hung over. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> so we're both just kind of dying, but we're good. We're good. I'm glad you're excited. Hello. 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 Danielle will be reading every single one of our books. And we love her for it. <laughs> we love her for it. <laughs> so um, did we want to go over just overall rating? What did everybody rate it? Like in the comments? Oh my God, wait, I forgot this woman is really pretty too. Both of the models are really pretty. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. They're stunning. I really... I, was, I, I wanted to go in and see, like, who actually did the cover design for this because um, it's amazing. Cover art by Cover Couture photo. Oh, so it's it's a it's a it's stock image. I mean, on the man, but the, I mean, there's this is a lot of detail because I feel like they really did, um, like, like for the book and stuff, you know. Like he was wearing that gold leaf crown and then hit the tribal tattoos and everything. I'm pretty sure that crown is definitely photoshopped though. Like yeah. Oh yeah. Wearing it. I yeah. Because I've seen a picture of this model before on um Shutter uh, Shutter Shock. Shock. Sorry, can't talk. Um, he doesn't have all this going on, so it's definitely mm -hmm. like photoshopped and stuff. But it's beautiful. Oh, love it. Okay, cool gamer. Do you have a Hello. name? Because you've been in like every single lab show that I've been in in the past month. Yeah, mine too. And I was like, I would love to call you by your name, but if you don't want us to know your name, it's totally fine. Oh, I mean, maybe we can give you a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> cool gamer. <laughs> I don't know. This is a name. That's not your name. That's your nickname. Your your alias. Your alias. Yes. Mm -hmm. But this, it honestly was very much, it was very much Tarzan. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Good. But like the synopsis is like low key, like we could give the synopsis, but I feel like the synopsis is just Tarzan. It is. Like yeah. literally just like, like that's what it is. And let, let's say it's just a modern, it's contemporary. So it's in the, you know, it's in nowadays and um, they just gave them different names. Yeah. Um, but it's literally Tarzan. It with, made me. Um, oh, go ahead. No, I mean, I I still really enjoyed it. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> it kind of sent me down this spiral because, you know, I have like weird phases where I go through weird rabbit hole things. Like I just get interested in like random topics. Mm -hmm. And there was this one time where I was like so interested in like the connections between all the Disney movies. Yes. Mm hmm. And so, like, I would, like, look at all the theories of, like, this. And, like, apparently, you know how, like, the parents that died from Frozen, the theory yes. is that they're the parents in Tarzan. Yes. And then, like, that's all I could think about the whole book. <laughs> Frozen. Frozen. It's the audio book. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Shane East is one of the narrators for the audio book. And I really, I really love him. He's a great narrator. Yeah. I really did like this book. But I've been in, like, a really really bad reading slump so it took me like a week to read it like oh, I literally wow. read like this much of it and then I didn't read it for like five days so like my memory might be kind of spotty because like it, it, it just it wasn't the book it's just me I read it today that's good well I did finish it today yeah I did finish it today I was gonna finish it last night but my plans changed 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, the audiobook was so good. The audiobook was good. Yeah, was I really, good. really enjoyed the audiobook. I love when they have like the dual narrators. I really enjoy that, especially when there's dual POVs. And I also, um, oh, we're like you have the ratings across. I gave. I'm gonna give it four stars. I think I'm gonna give it four stars too. Yeah, I you know I I really really I really did enjoy it. Um, but I love that we also get um, some points of view from uh, Keza, the gorilla who mm -hmm. uh, saved him and um, raised him. I was like, that was really cool. And it's definitely it has some like magic in there because this the whole jungle was just magical, you know, and like um, Thor getting visions and kind of you know this uncut diamond that was stolen it was hit, like the heart of the jungle and everything and it's basically um i just thought that was really cool it's like a little added fantasy element to it which was i thought was really cool yeah i really liked it i wish we did get more jungle i don't know why because i feel like there was a good amount but i still feel like a lot of the book was them like just like trying to figure out stuff about him you know him being like that earl that's kind of a spoiler yeah but yeah you know. <laughs> anyways it's not really but i mean if you've read if you've read Tar tarzan or you know have watched yeah, not really the I disney movie but the um uh, the new movie like he is kind of like a an english lord you know you do learn that in from the old book or the original story but, but I just, um one of them i don't know they were in the jungle a lot but i kind of wanted more jungle yeah i felt like you know they met you know they were doing their thing in the jungle and then he kind of like took her back to the village where his friend lived and like yeah, his friend yeah. is the one that taught him like english and or retaught him like english and everything but i feel like that happened like halfway through the book and i was like wow we still have a lot of book left for him to be That's taking her much. to this village and sending her home basically like he's re he was like remembering more about his parents and his mom he remembered his mom saying like, if you love something, you let it go. Cause he had like a little lightning bug in his hand. And so he's just like, I have to let, you know, her go Eden. Um, because I can't like keep her here with me, you know? And he, he felt like he couldn't. Man. Wow. <laughs> Two stars. Yeah, wow. Sorry. That just took me by shock. Shocked. Yeah. I'm very surprised. I want to know. Man, a spill, please. I want to know, like what? Yeah, because a lot of, even though like a lot of people that I know have read it have all given it like four and five stars, yeah. but overall the rating is lower, lower than four stars. Like the average rating for this yeah. book is lower than four you stars. Know, I think it's like I, three point something. I may give it a little bit lower than than four stars because again, like I wanted more. I wanted more jungle because I feel like even in the beginning of the book, like she's not even like it's kind of like set up. Like I feel like yeah. the whole fourth of the book is like you know, the plane crash and like the, you know, the hand yeah. rescued and stuff like that. And then a fourth of the book is them chilling in the jungle. And then half the book is her like gone, like with humans again. And I wanted at least half the book to be them together in the jungle. And that's just not, not what we got. Yeah. But I yeah, did. Yeah, the average rating is 3.89, which is. That's still pretty good. Yeah, but it's like a lot of like every time I hear about this book, people are like, "Oh yeah, four and five stars mm. for it to have such a low average rating." Mm. Mm. It, it it was kind of into love at least on Thor's part, yeah. just because he's like, "You're really the only woman that I've seen ever." <laughs> yeah, I feel like if we had more of them in the jungle, then there could have been more build up and yeah, like sure. tension developed there. And it wouldn't have been as insta lovey, but they literally had like a fourth of the book to like fall in love, and then she was gone. Yeah, but the she didn't fight. She didn't fight it very hard either. She's like, "No, no we can't." And then like five seconds later, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I know. Do? I kind of wanted her to. I don't know if it's just because you know Jane and the Tarzan movie. Jane yeah. is so feisty. And I was yes. like, where's the feistiness in here? I feel like she was kind of like giving giving fish. Well, kind of towards the end, like you get some of that because she was really fighting for her life, you know? And she was trying to fight that's and true. save the gorillas from being shot, but they ended up shooting. But I think that's that's kind of different. That's kind of fight or flight. That's that's more instinct than personality. Yeah. And the writing so even though it was realistically showing he wasn't from our world, just irritated me overall. Mm. Mm, interesting. Have you read other books where it's like 
this kind of trope where it's like, what is it? It's not, you know, it's like where like one of them is like not been in civilization and the other one comes from civilization. They like me. Yes. Have you read anything else like that, Amanda? Because maybe you just don't like the trope. The author was trying to do too much with this too and the whole message with nature. I kind of like the message. I like the message with nature. Because sure. I like nature. Mm -hmm. And isn't that kind of in Tarzan too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the movie in a hot second. Because I don't really think I like loved the movie growing up. Like It definitely was not one of my favorites. I definitely had other favorites. You know, like Ratatouille. That little rat was giving something. That <sighs> Remy... That rat he was giving for me. Oh. <laughs> I was about these gorillas when I could watch his rat cook. Like, plus, oh, man, I, I was. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I was, was gonna, gonna tell you. I was gonna tell you. Like, I've read Transcendence by Shay Savage, and I really like that one too. But it's it is kind of like, um, it's. I mean, it's this isn't isn't really a spoiler. The female main character she accidentally travels back in time to like um like neanderthal era and it's that's the male main character he's like a caveman and it's they have like the forced proximity he's like saving her he's protecting her and it's definitely that mate instinct where it's just like you know you woman me man kind of thing and um but i really liked that one too mm -hmm. oh what was i gonna say oh i was gonna say that when i was a kid i wanted to be a chef like, I oh. remember in kindergarten, you know, when you have that day where you all dress up as, like, what you want to do, like, what career you want? I dressed up as a chef. And my mom made me a little chef hat. That's adorable. Yeah, I think it was because my parents, my dad really liked to cook when I was growing up. Now that man will be cooking for nothing. But anyways. <laughs> oh. But I think that's why I was, like, Remy was really giving for me. Yeah. It's a cute movie, but. I really liked I really liked Tarzan, but I liked the like the soundtrack is you know really good. So but. Mm. I don't know. I feel like a lot of the movies, like everybody also loves like Lion King, which mm -hmm. you know the Lion King is a fantastic movie. But still, even as a kid, like I don't think like if I was gonna wa if I was given the option to pick a movie from like Disney or Pixar, like that would have not been the one that I would have chosen. Like it would have not been on that list. Mm. But it's a good movie, for sure. Yeah. Bro, when he died, I always think about that. <laughs> then he hit me in the heart. In the heart. And that that song, Akuna Matata, when they were like all dancing, I was like, okay, get into it. Anyways. <laughs> oh. I'm really trying to think about what happened in this book. I think you're going to need to remind me. Uh, well, we meet Eden. so big. The font? Yeah. Did you know yeah, that? Yeah, it is. It? Do you see it's a little yeah. gorilla? Yeah. I didn't look in the physical copy. Oh, God. <laughs> straight audio booking it. Yeah, the little, um, the, the little chapter headers are super cute. It's the gorilla. But yeah, okay. So we meet Eden because she's in uh, Uganda because she's a part of a, like a, She's like a nature uh, journalist and she's, you know, she's there, you know, photographing everything. And um, then a bunch of with who they think are poachers, but they're not poachers. They come ac across their group and end up killing everybody. And Thorne is the one that saves her from being killed and kills all, almost all of the poachers. Um, I remember this. And that's how they, that's how they meet. And then you get that's like in the first chapter and then you do flashback 22 years ago of how him and his parents crashed um in uganda and kind of like they survived for like two weeks before um again not poachers kill his dad and his mom and kind of leave him to be defenseless because he's like oh i don't kill children um but i'll just leave him out in this jungle you know and that's when keza um comes and rescues him oh. and yeah, that was. I definitely remember that. It's just like yeah, the end. Yeah. Even though I read the end today, I mm -hmm. feel like I just don't remember the end. Well, they. He takes Eden to his friend's village, and that's when. Okay, um, I remember that, and I remember when he tried on them clothes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That building, I was like, "Sir, not you." Just oh yeah, yeah. Buildings. 
to get her to get um up to her room it's like you could yeah, just take an elevator, I'm like but. bro <laughs> that just seems so unnecessary like okay. he was really doing the most he was like rock I can climb rocks it's fine <laughs> he was really doing the most um but yeah I think the last part of the book is um they they went to uh Somerset Hall or whatever that their house is there um for his uncle and his aunt and they do DNA yeah, tests DNA and test. then they have this party to kind of bring the light to what happened to them and the atrocities that are happening in Uganda. And yeah. that is when this Archibald Holt guy steals Eden to draw Thorn out to bring him to the cave where all this treasure is supposed to be. So that's yeah. what. You know, I really did like how they only really mentioned it once, but how they were like, Oh, like, everybody thinks Africa is just wilderness, but, like, Africa is actually, like, quite civilized, you know? Mm-hmm. You just yeah. say it, like, once. Because then they were like, oh, yeah, people just think that, like, the people in Africa just be, like, living in huts, like, right next to the gorillas. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they were like, mm, it's not really like that. And I kind of like yeah. that. Because I actually yeah. have a lot of friends from Africa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they, like, their parents are from Africa? Mm-hmm. And they'd be going there all the time. And it'd be looking so nice. I want to go. But I feel like it'd be really hot. And I don't know if I want that. Yeah, humid. In some, but I, probably in some parts. But I already live in a hot, humid climate. So I don't know if it's going to be that much different. It wouldn't be much. I don't think it'd be much different. <laughs> At least climate-wise. But I think you'd be able to see, like, a lot of stuff. And it'd be really cool. Oh, I actually was supposed to go to Africa. But COVID... Yeah, because I was in a nonprofit organization and it mm-hmm. like started because of this school in Africa. So like every like two, three years they would go to Africa to go visit the school again and um COVID. So I couldn't go. And I was mm-hmm. sad. But um there's like a lot of manual labor that they do when they're over there. So maybe it was for the best. Maybe it was for the best. But you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Cause no, like my friends who went like a couple years before me. They were, uh-huh. like, carrying water, which, I mean, this is, like, a real struggle that they do, like, every day. So, like, hate that for them. But, like, they really carried water, like, two miles, like, barefoot. Uh-huh. And I was, like, I don't think I'm built for this. Yeah, so that's the only way they get water. I know. It's so sad. I like Danielle's uh, comment here. Thorne was so sweet, innocent, and protective. Yeah, he really took that, like, protective instinct because, yeah. obviously, he had to be um, pretty fierce because – you know, um, that being raised, you know, by gorillas, unfortunately, like they're a lot stronger than you. And if they see you as a threat or if they don't, you know, trust you, or if they don't think you belong, probably get in a lot of fights. He also fought off like this lion. (laughs) I'm like, holy moly. (laughs) I thought, yeah, I think the mama gorilla was my, um, favorite character. She, I, I really like that we got points of view from her and like at the end at the very end sorry this is yeah okay spoilers uh, at the very end where in the epilogue where he introduces his little daughter to Keza and I'm like oh my gosh it's so sweet <laughs> yeah but he named his daughter Jane as a callback to the or, original Tarzan um yeah Thorne was really sweet and innocent and protective I did like that I don't know I think I just, you know, I'm not really like a sweet, innocent hero type gal. We know you're not. <laughs> I'm looking a little mean. It's just, oh. you know what it is? It's because I'm not very, I'm not very nice. Like I'm mm-hmm. nice, but I'm not that nice. So I feel like when people are too nice, like I feel like mm-hmm. I'm going to like hurt them. Like I feel like I'm going to break them a little bit. And I... I, I just don't like that. Like, yeah. I, I I think, like, we I was discussing this with somebody somebody yesterday. I have kind of an, uh, an aggressive personality. Mm-hmm. I don't even know if y'all see that on BookTube, though. I don't know. BookTube be different. But in, in, in my personal life, I have a pretty aggressive personality. Mm-hmm. And, like, I just, because, like, I need to be able to, like, make fun of you a little bit. And if you can't take that, then I don't know what's going to happen. <sighs> you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But he was really sweet and innocent. Yeah. I just... 
I think in general too, I think this is kind of what Manda was saying earlier too, is like uh-huh. really, really innocent characters kind of just irritate me sometimes. Okay. But like he has an excuse in this book. So like it yes. doesn't really bother me when characters are so innocent and so sheltered. I'm like, bro, why? <laughs> but yeah, he's definitely yeah. like, but he was he in literally a, the jungle. <laughs> the jungle. No, no. I mean, he did have some, you know, contact with humans. Um, but, but that was like only the last few years. But yeah, it's like, Man's like, yeah, he is really, he's trying to, he's trying to survive out there for sure. And uh, he was feeling lonely because he's like, he's seeing all of his gorillas and like everybody, you know, getting mates and stuff. And he's like, well, there's nobody like me. He could have had a gorilla mate. He could have. <laughs> that should have been the retelling. <laughs> oh. They were probably just like, I don't know. I feel like he wasn't like hairy enough or something. So they were like, I don't know about exactly. this. I don't know about this naked mole rat. Exactly. It's like you're looking very strange, but looking very odd. <laughs> you don't look like us, but yeah. But that would have been kind of sweet. Well, it was it was kind of with the with the mama gorilla. The mom gorilla, yeah. Yeah, she was like, even though you don't look like me, I'm gonna still take you in. Yeah. Because she was yeah. mama. She was like, he just just this just just a baby. He was three. He was three years old. Like okay, so I find this kind of surprising though that at the end he started remembering so many different things because yeah. memory doesn't really work like that. Yeah, especially when he was so young. That's what I'm um, saying. Cause I'm in developmental psychology, you know, taking in college classes. Uh, <laughs> anyways, but I guess it could feasibly happen when you're three, but it normally happens like three and a half, four is when you have your first memory. Uh-huh. And so like the fact that he had so many that he was starting to remember from three and under, yeah. normally, if you only really remember that if it was like traumatic or like something big, like he would not remember that his aunt gave him a book. Or like that little secret um, Heidi spot for their library. Yeah, like uh, maybe that, I don't know, but maybe not. I feel like that one's more like, like he would be like familiar with the place, but like he would not remember that someone gave him a book at like yeah. three. So that kind of just threw me for a little loop for a second. Cause mm-hmm. I was like, mm, well, I don't know if this would actually happen in real life. Yeah. Except for like, as you were saying, like with the traumatic, you know, it's like he could definitely probably remember the, the, um, crash, with the his crash and the parents yeah. dying and the person who did it because he, he lost, remember that he lost his mind when Archibald Holt was just like, Oh, th- the wonders of a mother's love, which is exactly what, you know, he said before he shot his mom. And I was like, you really just said that? Like, that's really bold. And this huge party. It's like, you don't think he's going to remember you. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm surprised that he would even remember that he said that. Like, like yeah. Archibald or whatever. Like, yeah. I'm surprised that he would remember saying that. Like, what? How many years later? How 20. old was this man? 20? He was yeah. 23? Yeah, he was in his he was in his early twenties, and it's been like twenty two years. So he's definitely you know like the fact like I just don't think he would really remember saying that. I don't either. Maybe he maybe when you kill people, you remember you remember a lot of details about that occurrence. I don't know because yeah. I've I've not experienced this, so I don't, I don't know. But I've, maybe I have, I have a terrible memory, so I'm just like, yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> well. <laughs> I think about the memory, but I just assumed the jungle magic. Oh, but he wasn't really in the jungle when he started to remember things. He was with his aunt and uncle. He started remembering things in the jungle. That's true. But I feel like um, he is like the jungle's protector. He is like the heart of the jungle. So maybe the magic just kind of stays with him. Mm, maybe. Maybe. But it would have been if they made him like four. <clears throat> that would Four or been- five. Four or five, maybe. Yeah. I would have I would have believed it more, yeah. But it's definitely like, especially that one scene where he smelled something and remembered. It's like your smell oh, is really, really triggering for memory. Yeah. So I was, I was thinking, thinking that it unlocked. Oh. 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 But some of the memories he had were not traumatic. So that's why I was like. Yeah, that's true. But okay, so one thing that do do be kind of bothering me, this is not like a this book thing, 
but this is like a like a like a rich white people nature thing like i really feel like it's it just be giving white savior to me and i know it's not like people but it's still like nature like what like it's really mm-hmm. like it's it, i don't know something about it just sometimes don't sit right with me yeah but, it, but that's just like a because like i feel like they'd be like mm, they just be having too much money and too much time on their hands you know yeah because like what did his parents do it, like they're literally a, they were just he was an earl yeah so that's what i'm saying and all they like, did all they did was travel and that's what i'm like, saying though is like if you're <laughs> like like you know like what's her name eden eden is like what a nature journalist that the yeah. math is nothing for me there you know there yeah like, if you're just an earl and you're just traveling and you're like mm, let me go touch some gorillas like i think with that- yeah. Well, with his parents, like, yeah, I think it was like they were literally just, you know, they really loved Uganda and they wanted to protect and preserve. And so they did take it upon themselves. But like, I think they even said like they lived in like both um, quote unquote worlds or whatever. But um, but yeah, it's a lot of, you know, the like the rich white people have like lots of money and literally nothing else to do. So <laughs> about that just sometimes be bothering me. Yeah. And I feel like the Africans don't like it either. I haven't no. I haven't asked them, but I just don't think they like it either. <laughs> I haven't asked them. <laughs> I haven't. I don't know. Oh, I, don't know. I don't do I I think I know one person from Uganda. Mm-hmm. Most of my friends, what is that? What is it called? And I have to look up a map cuz Oh, I know someone who's Senegalese. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of Nigerian people. Mm. It's like Nigerian, Senegalese. But where even is Uganda? Let me see on this map. On the map where actually it is. Oh, and I know some people who are from Ghana. I don't I don't know what the you know, like Senegalese, like Senegal, but like mm-hmm. what is what is what is it when you're from Ghana? Like I don't I don't know. Mm, let me see. I'm looking for Uganda. Okay. I can't find it. What the heck? Let's see. No. No. You can't find Uganda? Well, I'm just looking at a map. Oh. Let me look at it. I need my I need my phone to catch up. Here we go. Okay, so it's kind of like see that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, she's really like out in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know mo- more West African people than East African. Mm-hmm. But I feel like East Africa is more like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like it's more like jung- jungly. Well, well, you can even just see it on this map where it's just like you see desert all up here and mm-hmm. then jungle. Yep. But I thought the whole, like, treasure thing was kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. It was definitely giving, like, like, it was giving Tarzan. Yeah, it's 100% Tarzan. Yes. I think this author did a really good job adapting it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. A modern yeah. world. That is, yeah. it gets points for that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I really, I, I did really enjoy it. And, um, yeah. and actually, I really... I really enjoy retellings, especially when they're done well. Um, so really, you know, there are thousands of Beauty and the Beast retellings. So I like it when it's something different, like Tarzan. And mm. um, it can, so I just, I, I like it. I like it just because of that sake and the fact that she did do it well. And um, it just kind of makes me want to read other things. Yeah. I definitely want to read more by Emma Castle. This is my first Whoa. book there. I want a Ratatouille retelling. Someone give it to me. What do you want this re- this retelling to entail? I don't know. I don't know if they can make it a romance. I just want. I just want it in a book. A Ratatouille romance. Hey, they kind of could because what's with the the French the French girl with the bob? Yeah. Uh huh. And then and then the skinny man. Yep. Not mm-hmm. me not knowing their names. Oh Lord, I dropped my book. Um. But they can have a romance. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing that I like about this is, like, I feel like a lot of retellings, 
now because these stories have been retold so many times like beauty and the beast Mm -hmm. that like they're not even like retellings anymore they're just like a light light influence yeah yeah like a retelling but they'd be marketing it as a retelling like a court of thorns of roses a court of thorns of roses kind of is beauty and the beast beauty and the beast yeah like i understand the correlation but it's not like copy and paste not that this book is copy and paste either but it follows it more right Uh uh-huh while it's more of an actual retelling than as opposed to being influenced by the tale. Yeah. And I think a lot of retellings nowadays are just influenced by that story and they're not actual retellings. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I like that. I, I feel like this is one of like the first ones that I read that I'll be like, yep, this is like a retelling. Because mm-hmm. yes. you know what I'm also thinking of too? The Lunar Chronicles. That series is good. I only read the first two books though. But the Lunar Chronicles. Yeah. yeah it says it's a retelling and like I get it but yes. like is it Cinderella but is it is it really a retelling or is it just influence it's influenced for sure yeah it's not you know I mean if you kind of get you know the you know the prince at the ball and you know with the whole all that stuff yeah. but it's definitely just you know influence it's def- it's definitely its own thing it's just inspired or you know it's taking like some of this some of the major things that happened in the book, but it's not like a like a full blown yeah. retelling like like that. So, I wonder, like, what other things do you want to see retold? I'm trying to think, like, uncommon things. Uncommon things. Because, hmm. like, Tarzan, like, I've never heard of that. Yeah, I was talking to someone else uh, today, and I was telling them that I was reading this book, and they were like. I've never heard of a Tarzan retelling. I was like, I know. Like, that's why I, I like, I really wanted to read it. And obviously this, this cover is gorgeous. It was a complete, you know, like, you know, for the cover drew me in. But right. what, um, maybe a... You know, you know, you sent me this book. I know. Do you know you sent me this book? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I read this. And then this is so good that we did it for the book club. I know, because we were supposed to buddy read it, and then I was like, it's nice that we're doing this. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know what I want? Tangled, but I'm sure that's been done, but it's still Rapunzel. not trying to like Beauty and the Beast, but yes. I don't want, I don't want Rapunzel, I want Tangled. Tangled, yeah, okay. Specifically, because would she be swinging that pan? Something about that pan really be doing it for me. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> that's a great movie. That's so good. That is, I'm looking at Disney movies right now, trying to think, because I feel like this is a good question. Yeah, I feel like I really would like um, Phantom of the Opera. There is a Phantom of the Opera retelling, but it's not like strictly romance. It's like a it's like a YA fantasy retelling. What's that author's name? Oh, uh, dang it! God, yeah. I see the cover in my head, but I cannot think of this person's name. I'm trying to okay, but the retelling doesn't have to be romance. Cause I, wanna, I want it to be romance. Well, yeah, but I was going to say Coraline. And I don't know how you'd make that romance because she's a child. Yeah, I wouldn't. But then I was going to say The Nightmare Before Christmas. But I'm pretty sure that's been done. No? Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that a necrophilia book? Don't. Yeah. But no. isn't that a retelling of The Nightmare the, Before Christmas? Yeah. It's the Skeleton King? Yeah, that one. I'm not saying I'm going to read it. I'm just saying don't. they're out there. Just... If you want to know, just go to Goodreads and look at my highlights from when I read that book. <laughs> How it long was, is it? Is it long? No, it's not long at all. Sometimes I like to read bad things for fun. I mean, oh, I feel like there's been, okay, there's actually a lot of fan of the opera retellings. I just didn't really, oh, okay. So the one that I was thinking about was called Roseblood by... A.G. Oh, Howard. Oh, the cover where she has the, half the mask? Yes. I think I used to have this book. Yeah. But I think I got rid of it. To be honest, I've never seen The Phantom of the Opera, and I don't even know what it's about. Never seen well, I'm of assuming that. there's an opera, right? Yes. And there's a man <laughs> who's a phantom, okay, and he'd be wearing a mask. Oh, you know what? I would really love a Phantom of the Opera retelling where the phantom is actually a phantom, like he's a ghost. It'd be a ghost romance. You and this monster ghost paranormal stuff. <laughs> you know what I want? Listen, I want the Incredibles romance, but like the two parents. Yes. 
two parents, but I want to see them back in the day. Like, I want to see the superheroes when they were, like, what? It was, like, the 80s, maybe? Yeah, they so, were, like, just getting their start. Yeah, or no, because yeah. isn't the movie take place, actually, isn't it take place in, like, the 60s or the 70s? And the original is, like, in the 40s. Like, I just want it. I've watched a lot of videos on this. Like, the original yeah. movie technically takes place, in, like, the 60s or the 70s. Oh, and then, like, when they were younger, it was, like, the 40s or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. But I want to see – I want to see it more in, like, a like like 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, that with the parents, with the superheroes. And I want that, please. Yeah. That would be cool. That would be really cool. That's what I want. Nicole, write it. Thank you. <laughs> Nicole, write it. I am actually um, writing a uh, like a superhero villains uh, whip enemies to lovers. Okay, thing. well, now just take some little things from the Incredibles, do, 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 sprinkle it in, boom! <laughs> I'll make my I'll make my female uh, major like kind of like Elastigirl. <laughs> yeah, make her a redhead and make her thick. Uh, she is she is pretty thick, but she's not a redhead. She make her uh, a redhead. <laughs> not the fear pressure. I'm like, <laughs> oh, she's like she's like six one, and she's yeah she's six funny. one. Yeah. It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because especially because she's thick. You know who I love. I love love Megan Thee Stallion so much. Like I want to be her friend, but the thought of me sitting next to her scares me because she's 5'10 and that woman is thick she is the stallion okay yeah so like i just am like literally i'm i'm a pony okay you're a stallion and i'm a pony oh all right? yeah a stallion and i'm a pony how tall are you i'm five foot bro oh i didn't know i didn't realize you were that short yeah i'm actually 4'11 and a half but i just round up because if I said that I was 4'11", then I think Why I was, was I thinking you were, like, 5'3"? Um, people say that I don't look as short as I am. You know, on, like, on YouTube or BookTube, it's, like, it's really hard to judge, like, people's height, you know? Yeah, so, I like, I just think, think everyone's my height, but obviously you're not, so. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of Megan the Stallion. Oh. I'm just popping up. Look at Queen. Look at her. She be looking so good looking so fantastic but see like i don't know like in like this right like i don't know how tall i look like i think yeah. i look short or like even this like, i think I, it's I, just because you know how tall you are you're just like oh i just think i look short I, no i don't think you look short i like honestly i honest until i know like someone tells me their height i just think you're my height like when i found out that brie was six foot i'm like oh yeah that. Um, but then I think about it, and I'm just like, like, a 5'10 man is not scary. But, like, I feel like they normally be so skinny. Men be so <laughs> skinny. Just like the men I know be so skinny. And Megan Thee Stallion is not skinny. No. Mm -mm. And I think that is the scary part. I feel like her her big thigh is going to be, like, at my face. And I'm just going to be like, ooh, what is this? <laughs> Oh, it's funny. I feel like literally all the men I know are so skinny. I'm like, yo, what is up with this? Mm -hmm. I'm like, y'all need to go to the gym or something. <laughs> something. Oh, gosh. You just be running around too much. Be playing them sports. Running them calories. Uh, I'm just going to go through my... Did you make sticky notes? Yeah, my annotations. But I think we basically... we. Be covered. Yeah. Yo, no, look, I literally turned to the page. It said, so many people had the wrong perception about African communities. They assume everyone lived in grass huts and beat drums while wearing no clothes. There were some still very tribal communities existing in Africa like that, but much of Africa was advanced and the villages and cities were perfectly comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yep. The, but isn't that so weird that I just... You just opened it and there it is. <laughs> And I didn't even read this copy. Wow. The shower scene? Yeah. The spicy scenes were good, yeah. 
I would, I would, I would give it a jalapeno pepper. Okay. I'd give it a jalapeno pepper. I agree. Pepper. They yeah. weren't, they weren't that, like they weren't, they weren't doing too much. Yeah. They're, I mean, they were, I mean, they were explicit, but they weren't long, you know, like. They were really short. They were so short, but I'm just like, as long as everybody gets off at the same stop, like that's fine with me. They don't have to be really long. Not. Not everybody like writes chapter long sex scenes like I do. And you know, some <laughs> people don't have sex for that long. That's true, especially because it was his first time, and I was just like, I'm surprised she got off the first time with his with his first time, you know, because he well, just doesn't have he doesn't have he didn't have practice to like strengthen up his endurance or his you know. You know, I don't know what they'd be doing out there in the jungle. I, don't know. I feel like if you live in the jungle, you built different. Okay, you are <laughs> built different. He he is built different for sure. That's what I'm he, he took on he took on a lion for God's sake. I feel, I feel like that <laughs> is endurance in itself. I, he's just built different. Okay, there's a difference between that kind of endurance and sexual stamina. I you he lives <laughs> in the jungle, built different. <laughs> built different. Oh, so funny. Oh my gosh. Yep, we talked about that. Yeah, he was just climbing the climbing the wall to get to her hotel room. I just can't I imagine that. Like, I just, <laughs> what? I just got to the one part where he like he went down on her for the first time, and his friend oh, and told her. Like, but but she was like, "Where did you learn that?" <laughs> I was like, bro. <laughs> and he was like, he was saying like, um, his his friend told me some ways to take care of you. He knows much about pleasing a woman. I was be like, thank you, <laughs> thank you. No, uh, that is, she that was, was like, so where did you learn that? <laughs> she, was like, she was like appalled. She's like, what? <laughs> so funny. Oh. Hey, someone had to think of it first. That's true. So maybe he, I feel like in the jungle, you may have a lot of time to think. That's true. Well, so, like, um, like at nighttime when you're just, it's been a really hard day, you know, just think of what, I mean, he's obvious. you figure stuff out, I think, you know. And then it was like, he, they were, they met for a while after that. I'm sure he knew some, he knew something. And then he could have been just thinking, thinking to yeah. himself. He's like connecting dots, and then the time she on him, he was like, his mind was blown. He was like, oh my he god, he was <laughs> quaking in his Crocs. Wait, I don't think he would wear Crocs. He's a jungle man. He was no. quaking in his loincloth, quaking in his crown, in his crown. Yes, quaking in his uh, crown. Yeah, he was shook for sure. Um, let me see here. Yeah, we talked about that. Oh, when they were going out to the um, jungle to rescue Eden and um, that lofty guy's like, um, I think we need another gun. Thorn, old boy, you have no weapon. And he, he, Thorn flashed a dark look at lofty. I am the weapon. I'm like, he is the weapon. He is the weapon. Yep. I was really sad when um, Akika died. His brother. Yeah, that was really sad. I wasn't expecting that. That was sad. Yep, that's basically it. That's what we well, uh, we talked about. Really, everything. Yeah, I feel like sometimes there could be good romance books, but there, there sometimes with romance, I feel like there's not as much to chat about. Oh, I feel, you know, we, we did, we talked for a solid 20 yeah. minutes about the book, 25 minutes. So, yeah, but sometimes with like stacks of strange, cause them books be so weird. Oh yeah. Them conversations be so long. Cause the mm -hmm. books be so weird. There's lots to talk about, especially in like, you know, yeah. thriller or, you know, like things like that. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for our next book. pick. I'm excited. Long shot by Kennedy Ryan. I'm super excited. Um, Especially because I need to read. I need to read more by Kennedy Ryan because I've only read a couple. Me but too. I've only <laughs> ever read Flow. 
I've read Flow, Real. Um, I, think I own right. Real. It was cute at the end when Thorne said that he's in the jungle so he can always hear the baby crying. <laughs> Eden was like, Eden's saying like she's a terrible mother because he always wakes up to, to the baby before she does. I'm like, it's okay. It's fine. You can, you can, you can look after the baby. You he's literally a, gave birth. He's a parent. Yeah. Yeah. You literally gave birth. He can he can go see the baby when she's crying. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, um, so excited for long shot. Mm -hmm. I kind of I'm kind of in the mood for a good. I know I've heard that the series is not like super basketball y, but it's gonna have the vibes, you know. Yeah, it's like it's not really like a heavy duty sports romance. Yeah, but it's you gonna know. have vibes, and I, yeah. you know, I have vibes, and I don't know if I'm ready right now for a cry, but I'm hoping in like three weeks when it's time for me to read the book, I'll be ready. Yeah, because I heard a lot of you like, I, I mean, real was super emotional, um, and I feel like um, Kennedy really put you through the emotions with her. I book. feel like this one I've heard out of all of her books, I've heard that this series is the most emotionally taxing. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I'll, I'll I'll be ready for it. I hope. But you know what's kind of cool? Hmm. The first Sunday of next month is the first. Oh wow. May yeah wow yeah. The first. So our last show should probably be on the first. It'll be on the first. Yeah. Uh huh. So that's kind of cool because I feel like sometimes then I read the books the next month because <laughs> sometimes it'll be like the sixth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and you know I read it the day of, if not the day before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It depends for me. Sometimes I read it the day of, and then sometimes I'm in a reading slump and I take a week to read a romance book. It happens. I just, I read so much over spring break that I was like, oh no. Books, more books. <laughs> Looks. Oh, my pinky nail is broken. Oh, yeah, it broke off yesterday when I was um exercising, and I couldn't find it. And then I found it on the floor, and then I glued it back on, and then it it, it broke back off. So it just wasn't yeah. meant to be. It was not. It was not meant to be. It did not want to be on there. No, it did not. Okay. If nobody has anything else to say. Yeah. We will see you next month for our live show of The Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. Yeah, yes. It should be on the first of the month next month. And I, I feel like for next month, I'm really going to be in that Discord because I just feel like this book is going to have some stuff. I'm going to get feels. Some If it's really emotionally taxing, I feel like we'll probably have a longer discussion about it too because. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see you guys next month. See ya. Bye.